Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a powerful new feature for surfacing called Flatten Surface. To do this, we're going to be working with this nail pouch. This nail pouch consists of several areas that are formed out of a fabric material. It's important to note that these were not created using any form of sheet metal features. And in fact, when we go into the feature manager tree, we can see that the front pouch was created with a lofted surface, a few fillets, and then finally a thickened feature was applied to that. Additionally, there's the side pouch which was created in a very similar fashion using a variety of surfaces and finely thicken. What we're going to do is switch to a configuration where those bodies are still in their surface form. Here we can see the powerful new capability of the new Surface Flatten tool in SolidWorks 2015. To use it, you can simply specify any number of surfaces. In this case, I'm going to choose all the surfaces associated with this front pouch. Then you need to define where you want to flatten it from. This can be a long edge or a vertex itself. In this case, we'll simply choose a vertex. As soon as we do this, we start to get a preview of what the flattened surface will look like. However, sometimes you might need to make adjustments. You'll notice that these edges are being pulled in because of the crease that's found here and how the surface extends outward. If we want to maintain the length of this edge here, we can use control curves to better define this. And in this case, I'm going to select those two outside edges to maintain them in the flattened state. Additionally, you can choose whether or not to show or hide the mesh and the flattened preview itself. This could save you some calculation time uh, while you're generating the flattened surface for complex surfaces. Once you've set everything you want, simply press OK and SolidWorks will flatten the surface. Let's go ahead and isolate this to get a better look at it. So we get a nice smooth flattened surface, but what we actually want to understand is what's happening while it's being flattened. And this is where the ability to show the deformation plot really comes in handy. You'll notice by doing this we can see we have very minimal deformation along the part except for down here in the corners. That's where those two creases kind of came together where we're going to see the majority of our deformation in our part. Let's go ahead and toggle that off and return to the original part. I can, I can also hide these bodies individually and that's important to point out. It actually creates a new surface body which you can use to export to DXF for example. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. I want to look at the side pouch which is considerably more complex when we take a look at it. For this we're going to again select all the surfaces and a fast way to do this is to simply right click and say select tangency. Now I'm just going to right click this time to toggle to the entity we want to unfold from and I'm going to choose an entire edge this time. You'll notice when I do this it maintains that edge and unfolds everything in that direction. I'm not going to use any control curves this time and I'm simply going to press OK. So again we have a nice uh, flat surface and if we want we can take a look at the deformation plot again and here we can see there's considerable more deformation than what we had before. Something we're going to have to take into consideration when it comes to manufacturing. Speaking of manufacturing, we're probably going to want to use this in some sort of a cutting application. Whether it be a CNC knife, laser cut, water jet, or whatever it might be, you can right click on any flattened surface and choose to export to DXF or DWG. Here we're going to go ahead and say uh, just save this as a copy and continue. And we simply choose where we want to save the file. We're going to choose DXF and you'll notice this is the same interface that you can access from sheet metal components. Though this time we're going to only choose faces. There's no option for sheet metal in this case. When we're ready we go ahead and press OK and we get a nice preview of what it's going to look like. Just like with sheet metal components you do have an opportunity here to clean anything up you want. So for example if I didn't want those edges I could get rid of them though I can't draw any geometry here. I'm going to go ahead and cancel at this point, but as you can see, SolidWorks 2015 introduces a really powerful new capability to really flatten any type of geometry. It's not just limited to sheet metal components anymore.